took an opportunity uh, last summer in 2009 to go up uh, up a, and have a look at the Camp Run Creek and the old water system that was up there. This is a shot of what I think was an old wooden reservoir at one time. You know, just kind of an interesting little piece here showing the old wooden works and the, the metal, the rods that used to hold the, the wood together, I think. I'm just guessing. don't really know what it is, but it looked like a, a little bit of a diversion for the creek and our little storage area. Very old, dilapidated. Oh, this is some of the old, uh, they used to make the pipe out of wood, like a barrel almost, where they had wire rings and, and slots of wood. And this was a rotten piece of old pipe just laying on the ground with just the wood gone. Yeah, this just kind of shows that someone had built up their rocks on the edge of the creek to divert the water into that old, uh, old wooden reservoir. Just thought it was kind of interesting that it's, uh, but it's been there for so long. This is the, uh, these are the two pipe lines. Only one, well, they both run all the way up to the dam, and they used to carry the water for the, uh, for the district down through these pipes. The one on the left is the oldest one. The one on the right is the newest one. Uh, as you can see, in disrepair in places, splits. Uh, yeah, the silvery one is the new one. It kind of sits on top of tires all the way up the mountain. All the way from the reservoir, the present day reservoir, all the way up to the dam. There was a tiny little bit of water running through the pipe from the dam. And it just, just showed that there's kind of this little funny splurt coming out the bottom there. I followed the pipe all the way through the bush just to kind of see what what it looked like and where it went uh, kind of hard going there's lots of bush up there here's uh, yeah just a section of the pipe that got separated oh and here we are at the dam suddenly this was my first trip to the dam in 2009 uh, I found it very interesting to see that such a small pool of water used to provide the entire community with uh, drinking water and irrigation water. The dam held it back and there is, you'll see in some of these shots that there's a, there's a pipe embedded in the wall of the dam. It's about a 10 inch diameter pipe. which you'll get a shot of here in a minute and that's where the water started that's how the water got into the system uh, there was no reservoir other than uh, the two steel tanks at the bottom which I'll show you later on in this clip but here's the dam here's the water coming down to the dam through the, uh, through the very dense forest up in the Camp Run Creek uh, watershed if you will Very pretty. A small pool. I measure, I had my tape measure. It was about 12 or 15 feet square. 3 or 4 feet deep. So not a whole lot of water there. But uh, it's running over the spillway there. The creek is kind of braided in places above the dam. This is directly above the dam. It spills down here. Gets into one channel. All of the water. This was in the, the heat of the summer in 2009, so there was a pretty good flow that day. At this point. On the creek. Yeah, there's a sign there. It says uh, something like the North Canyon Watershed. Please keep out. Uh, 
Water is beautiful, clear, crystal clear, very cold. There's an old silver pipe there, just about a six inch pipe that I don't know what its purpose was, but this one here is the larger one. This is the 10 inch one I was speaking about. This is how the water actually gets into the pipe that goes all the way down the mountain. And this is the spillover from the dam as it heads down the, the creek bed towards our present day reservoir. This is that old 6 inch pipe that just uh, sticks out the, uh, the face of the dam. There it is right there. Not sure what its purpose was, but again, this is the newer 10 inch pipe. And from there, it, it hooks up to the uh, silver, silver pipe that goes all the way down the mountain towards the community. There you can see it just running along the bank of the creek. A couple more shots of the water as it cascades into the pool. And here's the line running from the dam again back down towards the 